Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to be partnering with Beauty Counter. If you're not familiar with that brand, join the club. I had actually heard great things about them, but I have actually never tried anything from this brand. Now what makes them exceptional and stand out from the crowd is they are not only a clean makeup brand, but they are passionate about clean makeup. In fact, on their website, it says they exclude over 1800 ingredients that are considered toxic or chemical from all their products. They also make sure that all of the good ingredients that are going in are sourced at the highest quality and double checked for safety standards and all of that. Now, I know many of you have commented to me that you are either already on the clean makeup bandwagon or you've asked me what my opinion is on clean makeup if I would try some products and share them with you. So I thought this was the perfect way to do that. Beauty Counter was so kind to send me almost a full face worth of products. So we're gonna kinda do this in a little bit of a get ready with me style. I've actually not tried any of these products on my face. I only swatched one product, which was the cream blush. So we're just gonna go along together and try out these products and see what we think. If you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. All right, so all that I have right now on my face is just a little eye cream and my face serum. I've actually not applied any sunscreen or moisturizer because the first product we're gonna test out is their Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer. This has broad spectrum SPF 20. It's a mineral-based sunscreen. And on their website, it just says, it's sheer lightweight coverage, helps to create a more even looking skin tone, while SPF 20 mineral sunscreen works to protect against the sun's damaging rays. Over time, a radiance boosting blend of black currant seed oil, peony root extract, and vitamin C help skin feel firmer and look more luminous. So this is supposed to have good benefits initially, right upon application, but also over time. They sent me two shades. This is shade number three, number four, and there are a total of eight shades. The plastic packaging, it's kind of a squeeze tube. I'm actually going to make sure I shake it up. And you know, it doesn't have, I don't hear like a shaker ball, so it doesn't seem too liquidy. So, we're gonna go ahead and start with the lightest first, and I have no idea how much to apply. Oh, all right, so it is much thicker in consistency than I thought it might be, which I'm actually not upset about that because sometimes that means we can get a little more coverage out of it. Now, usually with a tinted moisturizer, I kinda like to use my fingers, so let's do that on this side of the face and just see what kind of coverage You know, it doesn't, um, I mean, it seems to kind of have a little bit of grip to it. So it's not one of those like real oily, serum-y kind of tinted moisturizers. Um, let's see, we'll apply it with fingers and then maybe we'll go back in with a brush and add a little extra in certain areas. So on their website, it says the kind of featured ingredients are non-nano zinc oxide, that's your sunscreen, and it's 14%, and then black currant seed oil and peony root extract, vitamin C, and then organic Madagascar bourbon vanilla. Unfortunately, I don't really smell much of that, but that's just supposed to be, it says it's a high quality, Responsibly sourced certified organic vanilla adds a subtle yet sophisticated fragrance. So again, I, I guess there's there's maybe just a hint of just a subtle vanilla. So I like the fact that if they add a fragrance, it's an organic natural thing like vanilla. And you know, my love for vanilla. Okay, let's check this out. All right, so I have combination skin. So sometimes with a tinted moisturizer, I'm a little afraid because it can be, you know, maybe too dewy, especially dew skin, right? But actually, I don't feel like that added 
a ton of extra glow. I mean, my face does feel moisturized, but I don't feel oily or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and add just a little more. I actually don't feel like I need shade four. Now, if I had, maybe we'll use shade four as a little contour. We'll get creative today. I'm gonna go in just with this buffing brush here and just kind of see what we can do. I add a little bit more coverage. So I feel like it evened my skin out a little bit. I did apply some sunless tanner yesterday so I could have some glow, some natural glow on my face anyway, but um, I do feel like it evened the tone out a little bit, but it's not enough coverage to cover spots or anything. So I'll probably go back and add just a little bit of concealer a little bit, but I do love that this does not feel heavy on the skin. And the other thing that I love is that they did include sunscreen. I'm always at a loss of what to do with a tinted moisturizer that doesn't have sunscreen. Cause I'm like, well, do I put it under my sunscreen? But then if I don't want to wear a foundation, you go on with sunscreen, then you feel like you need foundation. So as a combination skin girl, I appreciate that this is kind of an all-in-one product. And if you are drier skin, you probably will want to add a little bit of moisturizer underneath. But overall, I think it looks nice. It feels nice. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a little bit. All right, now let's go in with the darker shade. This is number four. And what I'm going to do with this, let's just see if we can do a little contour, shall we? Let's just see if this is how much darker. It's not much darker. Just a slight little bit of depth there. Use just a little brush here. Let's just see if we can add a little extra kind of shaping there. Mm, not really. I mean, maybe. Maybe there's a little extra tone here. <laughs> We're just playing, right? This is how we like to do things on my channel. Now this color would definitely probably work for me when I have my full sunless tanning on. So what I've got on right now is not the darkest tan that I will go through the summer. So through the summer, I think probably shade four would work. But the great thing about a tinted moisturizer is your shade doesn't have to match exactly because it is sheer. All right. Well, I don't really know that that changed much. So it's good to see that, you know, the shades are flexible. So I could be either three or four. All right, since the eyeshadow that I'm using is a cream eyeshadow, I went ahead and applied a little bit of concealer under the eyes and right here around the nose and just like one spot here and there just to kind of even out. So that's a little tip. If you don't want to wear a full coverage foundation, just go in with a tinted moisturizer and just do a little spot concealing and it looks very natural still, but you get that little bit of coverage you need. So I also applied an eyeshadow primer because I have super oily lids and now we're going to go in with their lid glow cream shadow and this says it has lid loving ingredients cooling cucumber and calming chamomile help soothe and hydrate while coconut oil and shea butter nourish delicate eyelids it also says that it has glow but no glitter and even though this is a deep shade and it looks like it would be super shimmery look at the color on the hand so, so there it is blended out so it shears out really nicely but yeah no glitter no sparkle nothing visible there but it also says that you can use this as a liner so that was kind of why i chose a little bit of a deeper shade because many times with the cream shadows you know, I tend to go for more of the sheer pink, right? Sheer peach, whatever. But I thought, let's try something deeper and see if we can use this kind of as a smoky liner. And maybe we'll add a little bit of color on the lid, but let's start with the liner. So we're gonna use this doe foot applicator right up against the lashes because I don't have a liner from Beauty Counter. And I don't even know if they make one yet. 
I think they're continuing to add new products all the time, but I thought, well, hey, let's just try this out. I know a lot of you like very simple eye looks, so let's try one of those today, right? Use the BK Beauty 204 brush, and I'm just gonna tap on the top of that line there, and it is almost completely dry already. Wow, those set very quickly. And it does have a little bit of glow. So as you turn your head, you'll see a little bit of shine there at the lash line. Let's add just a tiny little bit here in this corner. Since I'm kind of wanting to go for a lighter look, I might not even put this on the lid. Normally, if I were using a cream shadow like this, I'd probably bring in, you know, a powder shadow through the crease, but hey, that's kind of nice. I like that. All right, let's add just a touch on the lower lashes here. Just a little bit. This does sheer out nicely, so I don't have to be afraid of this getting too dark and dramatic. Just want to add a little extra definition with the lashes. Okay, I like that. Hmm, we might be keeping this really simple. <laughs> All right, let's try the other eye. Okay, so as I'm looking at this, I do feel like I want to layer just a little bit more right here. And I do feel like it does kind of layer nicely. It doesn't seem like it's peeling away. The only thing I am a little hesitant to do with this darker shade is actually bring it up through the crease because it dries so fast. I'm afraid I might not get it blended out. So uh, we're gonna leave it like that for now and then we'll see at the end if we need to add any more. All right, let's go back to the face and the next product we're gonna do is blush. And so this is the Cheeky Clean Cream Blush. Look at this packaging. Okay, so we're about to get into like super fun, beautiful packaging. Now this has, oh here, I'll close it. <laughs> it has a push button. This is the one product that I had actually swatched on my hand. The shade that I have is Chai. Now one of the things that's super unique about this, it does have this really luxurious packaging because all you have to do is buy refills for the blush. There's a little hole right here. You just pop out the blush and you can buy a refill so you're not having to buy a whole new package. So this shade is a really nice kind of neutral shade and almost like a, it's gonna be more of like a bronzer-ish shade. So we're going for just a real glowy bronzed look here. All right, so this you can actually also use on your lips, but I have two lip products, so we're not gonna use it on the lips, but it does have great ingredients like squalane. So it does have, again, skin loving ingredients. I'm gonna go on with, I'm gonna use my favorite cream blush brush, which is the Luxie 522. And let's just try this on the cheeks. So it's supposed to give us a little bit of a glow, but there's no shimmer or anything. Ooh, that's pretty. That is a really pretty color. Kind of my kind of shade, especially going into summer. Now, I wasn't sure that this would actually give my cheeks enough color because I do have that little bit of a tan. But actually, that's really nice. Hmm. All right. Now, if we go in with our finger, I know a lot of you like to apply things with your finger. Let's just see how yeah, that definitely lays down pigment a little bit faster. And the texture on this is a little bit, it's not like super dewy, oily feeling or anything. So very nice. And I'm actually gonna bring this a little bit higher and I might bring a little bit of this through my crease. I feel like this is what my eyes need. So even though this does have a little bit of squalane, which can be hydrating, I do have the eyeshadow primer on, so I think this will be all right. <laughs> Hopefully it won't wreck my, my eye look today. Mm -hmm. That's what we need through the eyes. See what amazing difference just adding a little crease color can do. And you don't even have to switch brushes, right? 
now. So just take a little bit across the nose, kind of give my face that spent a little extra time out in the sun look, right? And I'm actually gonna just take a little bit of this since it is more of a kind of kissed by the sun look. I'm gonna use a little bit here, my forehead as well. Now I am noticing, you know, on my combination skin, I am looking super glowy, but actually it doesn't feel real oily or anything, but I do have a powder. So we're gonna test that out and see what that does. Okay, I love that. It's amazing what happens when you add blush, right? Okay, next up, let's see. I think that's all my cream products for the face. So let's go ahead and set the face. So I have their powder and it just says smooth and translucent. This finishing powder sets makeup, absorb shine for a natural even finish and no white residue. The base of this is cornstarch. So it is talc free and it does come with this little turnstile. I love these because it keeps the powder from going everywhere so you can lock it in place. The feel of it, ooh, whoa, wow. Super soft and buttery and lightweight, very lightweight. All right, I'm gonna start off with a small brush here. And let's just put a little bit of this. Ooh, that feels really nice. Yeah, let's do like half the face. You know how I like to do that when I'm testing a new powder and see how blurring it is. Ooh, I like that. And it feels, feels almost, you know, it doesn't feel like it has, you know, water in it, but it does feel kind of slightly cooling on the skin. Interesting, okay. Definitely smooth. All right, I'm gonna take a bigger brush for the other side. Let's get this done a little quicker over here. Oh yeah, I love that. It really mattified and um, blurred the pores amazingly well. Wow, it's a very nice texture. It's been a long time since I've used a cornstarch based powder. All right, I even liked that under the eyes to set concealer and you know I'm very picky about that, but so far I like how that looks. All right, now I'm feeling very mattified and let's move on to mascara. So they sent me their Think Big All-in-One Mascara Check out this tube. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? And all of their packaging has a nice weight to it. So really well done. All right, now what it says about this is it's clean and effective. It's supposed to give you instant volume, lift and fullness. Has lash care conditioners, tripeptide technology, strengthens for stronger, longer and fuller lashes. Precise, effortless application, a soft molded brush dispenses the perfect amount of formula, defines each lash from root to tip. This has ingredients like pro-vitamin B5, rice bran, calendula, and carnauba waxes. I think that's how you say that. And it also has true black pigment to give lashes dramatically rich black color. So let's see. All right, let's go ahead and give our lashes a good curl here. All right, let's take a look at what the brush looks like. Oh, nice. I do love brushes that kind of taper down like that. It is a, looks like, yes, kind of a rubber, rubber bristle brush with small little bristles on there. All right, let's give this a shot. So I know with a new mascara, whoa, okay. Uh, usually with a new mascara, you know, the first time out of the tube, you have to go back in and out Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, this is without any primer on our lashes. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm quite impressed with that first. 
I mean, that's basically one coat of mascara. Can you see that? All right. Let's take two to see what this eye looks like. Wow. Okay. And even though I do have maybe a little bit, I'm getting a little bit on my lid there. It's not messy. Let's go in for a second coat here and see. Wowzers. Okay. Well, I'm impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the lower lashes. You know me with mascara on the lower lashes. There's very few that don't smudge on me, but we're gonna give it a shot and we'll see what happens throughout the day. All right, while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and I'll come back and we'll do lips. Okay, so after doing my brows, I thought I might as well fix my hair, put on my jewelry so we can finish this video up. So we're gonna head to lips next and then I might need to add some more cheek color, but let's do the lips. First, we're gonna go in with the Sheer Genius Conditioning Lipstick. And this packaging is so luxurious, it has one of those magnetic closures. It's white and gold. I love bullets like this that are slanted so that the lipstick keeps its shape. You don't have to worry about it bending and breaking. Ooh, nice, soft, sweet vanilla scent. And the shade I have is Lily. So let's swatch that. I haven't even swatched it on my hand. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, nice. My kind of color, right? Okay, on their lips, on, on their website, it says that it's a creamy, buildable lipstick with nourishing benefits. It says it has a Smart Wax Botanical Blend, which is a brilliant lip conditioning blend of emollients and plant-based waxes to help lock in moisture to give your lips some love with every swipe. So we've got some good ingredients, lip conditioners, but it also looks like it has some good pigment. So let's give this a try. Oh, nice, nice. And it glides smoothly. So that's basically kind of one good swipe on the lips. Let's see how much color we can build up. Okay, that's really pretty my kind of color, but we also have a gloss. Of course we have a gloss. So this is their Beyond Gloss and I have the shade, what is it? Magnolia Shimmer. So they do have some with shimmer, some without. Of course, I chose one with shimmer. On their website, what it says is it is next level shine. Features are Beyond Shine Filter Effect, a unique light blending technology that captures a rainbow of colors and filters them for a multi-dimensional luster and an ultra glossy look. Sounds right up my alley, right? It has clean coat pigments to deliver beautifully sheer color and high impact shine while soothing and conditioning lips thanks to the proprietary process that envelops them in a moisture rich castor oil. So castor oil is also in this gloss. Well, let's go ahead and swatch this because I haven't swatched it yet. It does say responsibly sourced vanilla. Okay, so if I sniff really hard, I can smell a little bit of vanilla, but it is not strong at all. Ooh, this is really pretty too. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. I think what I'll do just to be a good, you know, YouTuber, I'll go ahead and wipe off this lipstick and give you a good look at this gloss all by itself. Okay, I like the doe foot applicator. It has one of those teardrops and slightly slanted. Mm. And this feels similar in texture to the lipstick. You can tell it has good emollients in it. it has some good shine, doesn't it? Okay, let's add a little bit here. Uh, center, hmm. <laughs> Leave it up to me to pick 
a gloss and a lipstick in nearly the same identical color. So even though this does have, I mean, micro shimmer, you can see it kind of as the light hits it. I really can't see it on the lips other than there's just a really nice, good amount of glow and shine. Ooh, that is really nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how about let's see what the two of them paired together looks like. So I would say by adding the lipstick underneath, you just get a slightly bit more pigment, but overall the color I think is pretty similar between the two. It's really pretty. Mm, I really like that. All right, so I feel like I need just a little more blush. Let's go back with that blush. I know we've already powdered, but we lightly powdered. So let's go back with that blush. Just add a little more color here. And then I wanna see what happens if I go in with an eyeshadow brush and a little bit of that blush just through the crease. I feel like with my hooded eyes, I really need a crease color. <laughs> so let's just try a little bit of that. All right, so here's our finished look. And overall, obviously not a very dramatic look. It's very dialed back from my typical look, but going back to everything, I would say one of my top favorites I tried today would be this powder. Super impressed. And I'm always impressed with a powder that can work under the eyes and on the face. And so far, so good. I will be sure to keep you posted in the description box below of how everything wore through the day. But this is just a really soft, luxurious feeling powder. The lip colors, both of these definitely favorites. Not only the color, I mean, the colors are my colors, but how they feel, I love the glossiness of the gloss, the rich emollients in there and how they smell. Really love those. And the tinted moisturizer, I have to say, even though it's not as much coverage as I prefer on a day-to-day -day basis for going out and about and all of that, I do love how lightweight this feels on my skin. And even though it's considered a dew tint for my combination oily skin, I don't feel like it looks oily or feels oily. Now, as far as how I plan to use this going forward, this is for me a perfect solution for when I go out for a walk in the morning first thing, I love to put on just a tinted sunscreen. This is perfect for that. Also, I'm excited to try this layered under makeup because I feel like if I use a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen first, then I feel like I use a lot less foundation over it. So that's probably how I will plan to use this going forward, but it's definitely something if you love a real sheer coverage, you would probably really enjoy that. And then the mascara, I think it's been a long time since I've used a mascara and been that impressed at first swipe of how my lashes looked. And so far, no flakes, no smudges. Again, I'll note how it wore through the day down below. The blush as well, really nice. I just, I feel like I needed a little bit brighter color. It's my bad for choosing such a neutral shade, but how it feels, how it blended into the skin, I feel like it was a really nice formula. And I love that you can just buy those refills as well. Now, the only product that I'm kind of on the fence about would be the Lid Glow Cream Shadow. And possibly it's because I chose such a dark shade. While it did work well to kind of give me a little bit of a shadow at the lash line, it's nothing like super opaque, but I felt like it was a little too dark and dried a little too fast for me to feel comfortable pulling this through my crease and doing kind of an all over lid shade. So I didn't feel like it was as easy to use as I would have liked it to be, but all of the really good ingredients in there, as well as the fact that it has a glow without the glitter, 
I think those are all really good properties. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope that that was fun for you. If you've been curious about another clean makeup brand to try, I will leave a link down below to the Beauty Counter website along with a list of everything that I use today. And if I have a discount code, which I think I do have, but I will list that in the description box as well. Thank you as always so much for watching. Again, a big thank you to Beauty Counter for sending me these products to share with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.